Hi, in this video of less, we are going to start one of the very important concept of less that is mixins. Basically, mixins provide you a great way of reusability of code in your less file, and when they will be reflected to CSS, you will not find these mixins anywhere. All right. So let's see what these mixins are all about. Allows embedding all the properties of class into another class. Means, suppose you are writing a class and some of the feature of that particular class you want to take in another one, like inheritance, right? So if you want to make, put some styles in one class, let's say color, background color, font style, and you want to put the same things along with some additional properties in another one. So what you can do, you can just put that as a mixin and you can call that all as a function. As that's the next point can also behave like a function and take arguments. We'll discuss about arguments later, but these things, these classes can in the mixins can behave as a function. Like I just said, you can put some of the code inside your uh, class. And when you want to use those properties in another class, you can just call that class inside another one. So after compilation, the name of that class will be replaced by the uh, actual code. One mixin can call another mixin for getting the styles of the called mixin. Called mixin means suppose there are two mixins M1 and M2 and M2 is calling M1. So M1 will give all its style to M2 as well. All right. So that will give me the reusability. In CSS, mixing code is replaced by mixin styles. Mixin code means if you are calling the mixins as a function, that will not be a part of CSS. As I said, in CSS, you will not find mixins anywhere, but the name of a mixin where you have called it will be, will be replaced by the mixin styles, means whatever the styles you have put in that particular mixin. Like here, we have an example. Here, I have created one. This is a less file. Let's say style.less file. So here I have put P1 and put the color called red. Now in P2, I want that font color red as well. So along with the background, I will call P1. In P3, along with some different background, I will put the uh, P1 again, right? So basically these are the mixins. You are mixing the style of this one into this one, all right? And here you see the P1 will remain same because there is nothing uh, like less in that. But in P2, you will find that where you have put P1, that is replaced, that P1 is replaced by the code. For this, I am just making it smaller so that I just put only single style and that one is replaced by the P1. If there are multiple four, five styles, this one will be replaced by those four, five styles. And similarly, you can see here as well. All right. Along with that, be different background. There's a color red means that statement inside P1. All right. So this is how you can use it, all right? As I said, it can behave as a function. You can pass the arguments as well. Though this one is not taking the argument, so you can to call it in two different ways. Either pass the parenthesis or without the parenthesis, as you can see here, all right? So since there are no arguments, which we are using right now, so you can just continue like that. So let's see a practical implementation of the very important concept of less that is make sense. So to implement the mixins, the first thing which I'll do here, I'll create a class. As I said in the beginning, the syntax of CSS and the less will remain similar in maximum places. So here for creating the classes, again, I'll put a dot selector and let's give it a name like box. All right. So here for creating a box, what I'll do, I will put a border. of two pixel solid and blue all right so this is what i wanted from my border similarly padding uh, let's make it uh, five pixel all right five pixel and five pixel let's give two values here all right background color as orange font color as green all right. So whenever I want to create a box, whichever size is there, I want these styles should be applied. All right. So let's come here and create another class like, let's say, small box. All right. Small 
box that's another class and here what I'll do I'll just call this box so what it will do it's mix sense right so it will get all these styles from here to here you don't have to write these things again and again you don't have to do the copy paste all right like in programming for removing the repetition of code we do the function call similarly here we are using mix sense so at compilation when you will compile this list to CSS all these styles inside this will be coming here apart from that let's give some height let's say for small box I want height as 100 pixel width let's say 200 pixel all right similarly I'll just change the height and width for big box all right again I'll call box first then we'll change some height and width let's say I'll give it 200 pixel and width let's say 400 pixel all right Apart from that, if you want to change some font size as well, you can do like let's give 14 pixel to this and 22 pixel to this. Alright, so here I have used mixins. Let's come to the command prompt to compile it again. And here, obviously, you will get some changes in the CSS. So you see all these styles from here are copied here and apart from that height width and font size are the specific properties for the small box and big box so since the CSS is already applied so here I'll put a couple of DIVs small box and another DIV as big box alright and here I'll apply the classes class is equal to small box and here class is equal to big box all right let's execute this and here you can see that we have these two boxes all right let's say in case you want to increase the padding you can just come here you will change the value recompile them from the command prompt right here and just refresh them all right so you see the padding value got changed so this is a very simple implementation of using mixins in your less now here apart from just using these attributes and properties you can also pass some events like if you want to change the color of these boxes when you put the mouse pointer over it you can do that how let's see so here what I'll do I'll put an ampersand symbol all right and then colon hover like in CSS you do you'll have to do it in the very same way all right so here hover means whenever the hover event will take place whenever you will put the mouse over the box then this particular event will get executed and whatever design you will put that will be implemented so here I'll just change the background color let's say I'll change it to pink all right and in case you want to change the color of the text you can do that as well so by default it is green and here I will make it blue let's make it blue alright so maybe that will not look good but just I'm trying to show you the implementation here so let's save it compile it using the command prompt and when you will come to the CSS here you will see that box box hover small box small box over these are the new classes which got created altogether all right so even you can create the new classes depending on these events all right so let's execute this html page and when you will put the mouse over them you see the color of font and background is getting changed so this is how you can start working with the mixins in less